don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football as usual, I'm your host, Salas Ifiawe. The season has begun finally and it's another edition of performances of Ghanaian players abroad. If you are new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to this channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So the season began in earnest on Friday night with Liverpool taking on Norwich and it was amazing. The Reds romped to a 4-1 victory and today I'm going to take you through the performance of Ghanaian players who took part in the opening round of fixtures for the English Premier League as well as the French League. One, before I begin today's video, I'd like to apologize to everyone about the quality of the video of the Kumasi Asante Kotoko versus Kwano Pillars game that was played in Nigeria. Unfortunately, we could not get a better footage to give to you guys to watch. We just got a few goals and we uploaded it. We're sorry if you didn't like that. And we promise on the return leg in Kumasi here, we will do a better job. Now, Kumasi Asante Kotoko, we all know took on Kano Pillars in the first leg and they lost 3-2. Two. two away goals are very important now and that could help them make it to the next round. Still, they have to win at home. Now, Ash Gold as well too were held to a draw in their game and it, 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 it's, it's all to play for here in Ghana as well at the Lengley Sports Stadium. So that's the latest with the two Ghanaian teams that took part in African competitions over the weekend. We're sorry about the footage, we couldn't get the footage for Ashgold game. Hopefully, we get it when they come to the Kwasi Lengley Sports Stadium. So I'll start off with the English Premier League as usual. Crystal Palace took on Everton and Jordan Ayu, who was making his debut, second debut, you have to say, after following his permanent move to Crystal Palace from Swansea. He had a loan spell with them in January and it was quite amazing to see him in action after the AFCON 2019. He had a great tournament, scored two goals, led the line for the Black Stars. Jordan Ayu just rolling on and, and continuing from where he finished off in the AFCON 2019. Unfortunately for him, however, Crystal Palace ended this game with a 0-0 draw. Everton had a red card to Morgan Schneiderlin. Unfortunately, that did not help Crystal Palace to secure the three points they would have so wanted to get in the opening game. They had to share the spoils with Everton and see if they can get the three points in their next game. That's this weekend. I move on to the next game and it's Fulham. They took on Blackburn Rovers. Dennis Odoi was in defense, kept a clean sheet as Fulham beat Blackburn Rovers 2-0. Now, Derby took on Swansea City and as I brought to you last time, we all know Andre Ayu, the brother of Jordan Ayu, will be staying at Swansea City. His side took on Derby. It ended in a 0-0 draw. Andre Ayu, unfortunately, was not in the squad. He's still been given some time after the AFCON 2019 to get some rest, put issues in order. The club have already said that if a better offer comes for the player, they will sell him. But right now, he seems to be in the plans of the manager of Swansea City. Now, Fleetwood took on AFC Wimbledon, and we all know for AFC Wimbledon, we have Ghanaian Ford Kwesiapia. Yes, Kwesiapia made the Black Stars team his first time in 2015, was called again this year in March. Unfortunately, he could not make AFCON 2019 final squad. On Sunday, Arsenal took on Newcastle United, and we all know for Newcastle United, we have our very own Christian Achu. Achu, who got injured in the AFCON 2019 and was ruled out for the entirety of the tournament, could not make an appearance for his side, unfortunately. And then it was quite sad, and they lost 1 0 at St. James's Park to Arsenal. And they began the season on a low, but hopefully, they can recover and do well this season as they did last. Now, to my next Ghanaian player, and it's Daniel Amati. Of Leicester City. Now Leicester City took on Wolves. The game ended in a 0 0 draw. Mate is still not back from injury. Injury he suffered close to a year now. He suffered it in November last year and it's quite unfortunate he did not take part in this game. Because of that injury, he missed AFCON 2019 and I don't know whether when he will be back. But Brendan Rogers hopefully will get him back in the next game. My next game and it's Hull City. They took on Reading. Andy Adam played 90 minutes before he was substituted in added time for them. The game ended in a 2-1 win for Hull City and the Adams team losing on that occasion. I moved to France 
and Strasbourg took on Mets. The French League 1 began on Saturday as well. Now Strasbourg took on Mets and for Mets we have our very own John Boy. Many people love him, many people hate him. Whatever it is, John Boy plays for Mets and his team drew 1-1 with Strasbourg. John Boy unfortunately was an unused substitute in this game as well. In Germany, there was the DFB Polka game and it took place between Fortuna Düsseldorf and Villagen. Fortuna Düsseldorf, I brought you a story on them and three Ghanaians, actually four Ghanaians are there with Fortuna Düsseldorf and Nana Opoku Ampoma scored a goal. Bernard Tekbete played 46 minutes and Kelvin Ofori as well scored a goal. Go have a look at their goals and come back to continue the performances of Ghanaian players abroad. So this is the goal of Kelvin Ofori. Nice, nice goal there by Kelvin Ofori. Hopefully he will he will maintain this form and move it into the national team. Nana Pomer's goal also coming up and that is another sweet strike there from the Ghanaian. These Ghanaians are really doing well. Four players in the same team all from Ghana. I think this is the highest representation I've seen from Ghanaians in a particular team in Europe and I think they should be doing well playing consistently is the most important thing for these four players and I hope they do well in the future for Ghana and as well for the Black Stars. So that has been it for today. The La Liga has not started. It will start this weekend. Thomas Party and Co will kick off. I'm bringing more updates on them over Aqua Castle and Co. It was an amazing opening weekend to the English Premier League. Manchester United romped over Chelsea. That was the most surprising scoreline. 4-0 for me and Manchester City letting us know that they are not slowing down anytime soon. Who do you think performed greatly in this performance of Ghanaian players abroad? What was your highlight of the opening of the opening weekend? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box and what do you think about the Ghanaians who scored goals over the weekend? Do you like the goals? Let me know your thoughts in the goals in the comments box as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. Bye.